Hello, everyone. So Google announced yesterday that the Google Core update of March 2023 was completed and that it was 13 days and seven hours long. Now, a lot of us have a lot of questions like when do you start making changes on your site? How do you know if you were hit by the Google Core update? And the questions go on and on, and I'm going to try and answer some of those today. So let's dive in and take a look. All right, guys, so I started noticing a pattern, and that's what I want to talk about today. So I've pulled records from May core update of 2022, and I wanted to talk about what I'm finding with the sites that have been hit and some not hit by the Google core updates of 2022 so that we can use it and then talk about the 2023. All right, this site went through the Google Core update May 2022. And what I want to draw your attention to is the site saw a loss of traffic from May 31st, 2022 through July 1st, 2022. No changes were made to this site. It bounced back and performed just as good as, as it was performing before the Google Core update. Now, it took the site 32 days to return back to pre-core traffic. All right, so let me reiterate for a second. No changes were made on the site, and yet it bounced back to pre-core traffic. However, it did take 32 days to return. This next site that I want you to take a look at was affected with a loss of traffic from May 31st through June 26th. And some small changes were made to the site and it was 27 days before it returned to pre-core traffic. Now, the, this is a few examples. I have many examples. This is just a few. And the red arrow, let me draw your attention to the red arrow. That's the date that Google announced the Google Core update was completed. Do you see where that red arrow is? There's still two more weeks once the announcement has been made that this site had a loss of traffic, turbulent rankings, rankings were going up and down, but overall an extreme loss of traffic for 27 days before traffic returned to pre-core traffic. Now, this particular site saw the same turbulence from May 31st through June 30th. It was 31 days, but the site did not return to pre-core traffic. It actually flatlined. So this to me looks a little bit like a heart rate and it just goes out. So we have the 31 days that we had a loss of traffic on this particular site. And then after the 31 days, it continues to go down further, lose further traffic until the site almost completely flatlines on impressions and clicks. This is when you know your site is in trouble and truly needs to be updated. When Google announces that the Google Algo Core update is over, we still have two more weeks to see a loss in traffic, turbulent rankings, before we know if this site is going to flatline or return to pre-core traffic. Now, like I said, I have many examples. There is some type of phase while they're rolling out the update. We see websites acting a particular way that I've showed you. After the update is completed, we still have two more weeks of some type of checks and balances that's going on by Google. So, because Google has announced the Google Algo update is completed, website owners then go into pure panic when their traffic doesn't return that day or the next day. However, looking at site after site going through the core updates, some recovered, some did not. There is a window of time of anywhere from 27 to 31, 32 days. I'm that is about the amount of days that I'm seeing before your site either flatlines or returns to traffic. So where are we at currently? Before I show you where we're at currently, there's one more slide of the core update of 2022. Again, this site saw May 31st through June 28th. 
So there was 29 days of this period that I've discovered. I have not noticed it before, even though it's always been here before the site flatlined. So this site, no changes were made. It was hit by the core update of 2022 in May. And yes, it did flatline. However, before we could make the determination that the site was truly hit with the Google core update, we had 29 days of a loss of traffic and turbulent rankings before we flatlined and were able to draw the conclusion that yes, this site had been hit. And yes, this site would need some updates to recover. So here is the current 2023 March core update, a site that I am tracking that is going through it. You can see it may be a little bit hard to read, so let me read it for you. March 15th, we had 2,181 clicks to the site, over 113,000 impressions. Now, I'm going to jump ahead a little bit. March 24th, we saw 902 clicks to the site and only 53,000 impressions. So impressions have been cut almost in half, if not more. Our clicks to the site have also gone down substantially. Yesterday, Google announced that this Google Core update was done, but it's still not time to panic, guys. We still don't know if the site's going to flatline. We're still within the 27 to 32 days of window before we know what's actually going to happen to this site. So we are on day 15 of the Google Core update. Have they finished rolling it out? Well, Google confirmed that they did. However, there's some sort of checks and balances going through data centers. There's things that we will never understand that is happening during this Google Core update. But if your traffic has not returned yet, that does not mean you have officially been hit and your site is going to flatline. It means you're still in the period before we absolutely know without a shadow of a doubt that your site needs to be updated. We're on day 15 and I need you guys to hold out and wait to day 30. Now, I know that is a lot to ask, but these are some of the conclusions that I've been drawing watching the core updates roll out and tracking the dates of impressions. If you happen to have one of the sites that is acting turbulent, has a loss of traffic during the Google Core update, but your site, let's say, is going to recover to pre-core traffic, is that a site you want to start making changes on right now before you know what's going to happen? If your site's going to return to previous traffic, do you want to make a whole bunch of changes right now to try to recover from something you're not going to need to recover from? In my opinion, I'm still under the impression to wait. There are many things we can work on the sites. You can work on new content. You can work on keyword research. You can work on moving the site forward. However, actual recovery work does not need to begin yet. And I understand that's probably a hard thing to hear because when you have a loss of traffic, you want to do a million things really fast and get it to bounce back. However, we're not in that phase. In about 15 days, we will fully understand all of the sites that we're tracking, including your sites. In 15 days, you will understand if your site is going to flatline or return back to regular traffic and business will be as usual. Now, where are we at currently? So Google announced the Google Core update has ended and we have about 15 days of some type of checks and balances before we know what's going to happen to these sites. From now forward to the 15 days, we will see some sites start to pull out of it and fully recover. We will see sites that stay in this turbulent phase that I'm showing you right now and not recover for another 15 days. Now, what causes a site to go through this and then return to pre-core traffic? We don't know. We're making all kinds of hypotheses and coming with up with ideas of what we think, but I'm tracking sites that have previously been hit. 
sites that have not been previously hit, sites that are being hit for the first time and correlating as much of the data as we can to try to pick up on more patterns so that we have more information moving forward. So the million dollar question, should you make a whole bunch of changes on your site right now? And I say, no, I still say no. It's still too early to tell. We need to wait for the next two weeks to roll out before we know exactly what we're dealing with. I understand this isn't the best news you could ever receive, but it is information. And the more information we have, the better we know how to move forward. 